Hello there and welcome to December 25th. I hope you guys are all having a really lovely holiday season. Some of you thought that yesterday was the last day of Vlogmas, but uh, I got some news for you. Today is the last day of Vlogmas. In my first extremely chaotic and messy Vlogmas episode, <laughs> I said that for 24 days in a row, I would be trying a new pastry, and then on day 25, I would be making one here in my own kitchen. Yesterday, okay, I didn't, I didn't try a different pastry. I made one here at home in my own kitchen, but it was because the pastry shop I wanted to go to was closed. So what are you gonna do except create a pastry for your cats? But today, I'm making a pastry for me. My favorite holiday treat every December and I always have this, and I have always had this since 2011 when I moved to France. You see a little bowl of active dry yeast mixed with warm milk and sugar in front of me because today I am making Stollen. No, it's not French, but it's my favorite and I get to make whatever I want. <laughs> I've already prepared all of my ingredients. So here in this bowl, I have the dry ingredients and the spices. I have flour some sugar with one packet of vanilla sugar taken into account, half a large egg, one large egg yolk. Oops, I accidentally used two egg yolks. Wait, what? Oh no, how many egg yolks am I? I had to cut this recipe in half. Okay, I accidentally used two egg yolks. Darn it, I gotta take one of these egg yolks out. Oh geez. I haven't even gotten through the list of things and I'm already mucking this up. Let's take one of these egg yolks out. Lord. Okay, that should do it. Where was I? Half a large egg, one large egg yolk. I have some unsalted butter at room temperature, so it's very soft. I'm using the zest of half a lemon and half an orange. Some salt, some ground cardamom. Now, I couldn't find ground cardamom here. It's, it's not very easy to come by unless you go to, uh, you know, like an Indian shop or something like that so i just cracked open my own cardamom seeds and blended those up and it makes them extra fresh and extra strong some nutmeg some cinnamon some marzipan because i mean like anyone in their right mind who isn't allergic to nuts i like to put marzipan in the center of my stolen we also have some sliced blanched almonds and raisins. I know that usually you'll see red raisins in Scholen, but this is my choice. I really prefer golden raisins, and that's what I'm working with today. Now, normally you would soak all of this in some rum for a few hours or maybe overnight. I don't drink rum, I don't have rum, and I didn't want to buy an entire bottle of rum just to make a Scholen for Christmas. So instead, I just soaked them a bit in some water with almond extract just to give them a little punch of flavor but normally you would use rum. This yeast is activated, man. We gotta get going on this, okay? This yeast is ready to go. Uh, melted butter, where did my stick go? Where did my stick go? I forgot to mention that at the end, we will also be coating the entire stolen in melted butter and rolling it in powdered sugar because it just is not a stolen without being completely doused in butter and powdered sugar. It's not a very sweet cake. It's more like a slightly sweet bread with fruit and nuts in it. So, um, you know, you gotta coat it in sugar, obviously. I need to add my butter. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard to get the butter out of this bowl? <laughs> We're gonna have a good old time today. I'm gonna add my eggs, which I already messed up, but that's okay, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. I like a nice eggy tasting stolen, you know? And then, my yeast. I tried making Stollen one single time. It was in like 2015 and I really mucked it up. I did not do it well. I was very disappointed by that. So I really wanted my Stollen, but it ended up being more like a flat log of bread. Just kneading this into a consistent dough. Most people use a dough mixer, but I do not have one. So I'm using my hands. I'm doing this old fashioned style, baby. Come on, butter. You're softened. You should be mixing in with the dough. Oops. Oh man, I just lost, okay, well. Mix. I'm just gonna turn this off for a second. 
I may or may not have had to take that down to the floor. This bowl, this bowl just like rocks and rolls and you're trying to mix it and the whole bowl is just like, I'm gonna have bruises. Look at how red my arm is. <laughs> that was unexpected. I'm out of breath from mixing that. That took me some time. And I forgot to oil this, of course. Of course I did. idea how not ready you are. And then we're going to transfer this beautiful dough ball to a greased bowl. I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap and put it in a nice warm spot, which will be my laundry room. And we're gonna let it rise for an hour until it almost doubles in size. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna beat the heck out of it. And then we're gonna put some nuts and and raisins and zest in there. And then we're gonna roll it out. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, this dough is going to regret entering my household, that's what I'm saying. The first time I had Scholen was when I was an au pair for a German-French family. The mother was German, she was originally from Hamburg, and the father was French, but he was raised in Germany, which is how they met, and they had two kids. And so they had a lot of German traditions, even though they were living in Paris and the kids were raised here in France. So it was December, and I had an apartment just above where they were living, so I came downstairs in the morning to do a bit of cleaning up while the kids were at school and I found this cake sitting on the counter and I had received a text from the mom saying help yourself to the cake that's on the counter and it was you know strolling with powdered sugar everywhere and I was like pretty curious about that so I took a slice and I was in love I just it was so wonderful it was so delicious I think that they got it from Lidl I, it just brought me so much joy I really loved it and ever since then every time like November rolls around and I start seeing stolen on the shelves I'm like oh so this year I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it right all right I better put this in a nice warm place I'll see you in an hour sir sir excuse me excuse me sir sir would you like to tell the people how you felt about vlogmas do you have anything to say, sir, about Vlogmas? Uh-oh, that's my butter. Did you try to bite me? Look, man, I'm sorry that I haven't had that much time for you. Sir, that is rude. Look, I, I gotta get back to cooking. I gotta get back to cooking. <laughs> my cute big boy, I love you so much. Okay, bye. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow when Vlogmas is over, all right? You and me. Oh my god, the butter. The stolen has risen! At least I hope so. I think so. I mean, it looks like it's risen to me. I'm, you know, I'm just hoping for the best here. And that I'm not creating another flat, dense pancake that's like taking a bite out of a sugary rock. Did I say that I had candied citrus peels in here? I think that I forgot to say that I was also including candied citrus peels. And we're gonna mix that into the dough. And if the dough is too, oops, <laughs> making a mess. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. Maybe this bowl was not a great choice. It's a little small. It seems like the ratio of raisins and almonds and citrus to dough is a little off. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me for really screwing this up. Like I was cutting because this the original recipe was for two loaves and I was like I'm not making two loaves of stolen like first of all that's a lot of dough to work with my hands I don't have a mixer and I just don't need two stolen okay that's a lot of after an entire almost one month of eating one pastry a day sometimes two I need to take it easy from here on out <laughs> So now what I have to do is put it onto a floured surface and roll it out until it's about an inch thick until like kind of a long an oval, you know, it's like a long circle. I need to roll it out into a long circle and then I'm going to put the marzipan in. It did say to beat the dough down, so you know, I, be, I feel like it deserves a little slap. Flour the surface real good. That's, uh, yeah, that's a, that's, that, that is a floured surface for sure. Maybe a little more coffee. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am burnt out. I am, I am toasted, okay? I'm, I'm cooking this stolen. But I'm already cooked, so if I seem a little low energy today, 
I think we all know why. Let's put this out on our surface. And let's get some rolling here, folks. Actually, I don't think I need my rolling pin at all. Okay, we want a long circle. We want a tall circle. I need the marzipan. Got my marzipan. I forgot that I'm supposed to be talking to this camera and not to that camera. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be talking over here. I'm supposed to be talking over here. I have my marzipan and I just want to roll it out so that it is nearly the length of the dough oval here. Long circle. I'm so nervous that I'm gonna mess this up, you guys. <laughs> I really messed up the first one. And now it's Vlogmas. Like, <laughs> I don't want to end Vlogmas with a total train wreck of a stolen. That would be very much in my nature though. Okay, so we put that in the middle and then we want to take the left side and fold it over the marzipan to the center, like so. Okay. I, I did roll that out a little thin. There's no saving it now. It's just gonna be a really long, thin stolen, I think. And then we don't wanna roll the right side all the way over the left side, but it's kind of hard considering this is so, I may have really muffed, mucked this up. Let's try to make it a little thicker. I think I mucked it up. <laughs> I think I need to make it a little shorter. Just make it a little thicker. Oh man, I'm mucking this up big time. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, make the Mars pan a little shorter. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, take the left side, roll it over. <laughs> and then you're gonna take the right side and you don't wanna roll it all the way over. You just wanna put it like in the center. That's a lot of flour, oopsies. Okay, you wanna pinch the ends and kind of roll them in, I guess. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I should have watched a YouTube video on this. I did not. You have that marzipan in the center and children should have this characteristic hump right here where the marzipan is in the center. So we're going to try to achieve that. This is the ugliest looking children I've ever seen. I hope you've never seen one because in that case you won't know. You won't know any better. Let's just pretend it's the best stolen we've ever seen, ever. It is. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm doing a great job. Boy, was that ever a sound. We transfer the stolen to a sheet. Oh, and it just totally falls apart on the way. That's part of the process. It's, it's totally supposed to do that. And then I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit for another 40 to 60 minutes until it gets soft and puffy, or at least, fingers crossed, it gets soft and puffy. So, I'll see you in 40 to 60 minutes when my stolen is hopefully a little bit more puffy than it is right now. You know what, while I'm waiting for the dough to rise, I wanted to open the last gift that I received from one of you. I have an hour to kill, so I may as well. First, I just wanted to thank the wonderful person who sent me this cake decorating kit. I could not have made yesterday's video without this kit. And it came with a note that says, I had the pleasure of finding your videos in late 2019 and thank goodness I did. You are one of a kind. Watching your vlogmas this year has been the highlight of my day. Happy holidays from a friend from Washington State. Thank you so much. I didn't have a chance to you know, actually thank you on camera yesterday because it wasn't the nature of the video, but this really saved the day because I had plans to go to a certain bakery yesterday to pick up a patisserie and they were closed for Christmas Eve and I was like kind of panicked. I was leaving messages to, you know, Miro, my best friend, telling him I don't know what to do. I don't have time to run around looking to see if other places are open when, you know, not everybody is updating their hours on their Google accounts and stuff like that. So it's kind of a roll of the dice. If you show up somewhere because it says they're open, they might not be open. And so I was like kind of in a panic and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I could make something, but the only thing that I have ingredients to make is stolen and I'm making stolen tomorrow for Christmas. And then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make cat pastry. So I started thinking, what can I do? Okay, um, there's a shop downtown that sells pastry making stuff. So maybe I can run downtown real fast, go there and get the tools that I need if it's open and then come back and design a cat pastry, I guess. And then I had this unwrapped Amazon package 
under my, you know, Christmas Hoya tree. It was just calling my name. I mean, I knew that I had a pastry making set in my wish list, but for some reason I just, I had a feeling. Inside that Amazon package was going to be exactly what I needed to make the video and it would prevent me from having to go downtown to see if this place was open. And so I took a peek inside the bag. I know that I'm not supposed to do that. I try to open everything on camera and it turns out it was the pastry making kit. So you saved the day. Thank you so much. It enabled me to make a cute little Kitty Cat pastry and to make that cute little montage. So this gift really meant a lot to me. And I will also get a lot of use out of this because I do love baking. That's something that I just really want to start doing again in 2022. So thank you. We have one more package that arrived yesterday. Do you know how hard it is? I'm sure you do. Everybody. <laughs> I'm the only person who doesn't unwrap gifts every year around here. <laughs> it's really hard to see a package sitting in the corner and like not open it because you know <laughs> you have to wait till tomorrow when you're filming. I don't recognize the brand. It's gotta be something that was in my wish list. Oh! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, how thoughtful! Is there a note? There's no gift receipt and there's no note. It's a cat carrier. I have my suspicions about who sent this to me. I finally got it zipped. Wait, which way is the front? That's perfect. That's perfect. Since I have two cats, sometimes I have to take both of them to the vet at the same time. I have a backpack cat carrier, so I wear one of them on my back and then I have to carry the other one. The cat carrier that I have that's like suitcase style right now is just, it's really bulky, it's really heavy, and the door of it is just not very secure and I'm always very scared that it's gonna pop open while I'm like walking down the street next to, because the vet is like on a really busy road. I'm just always so scared that it's just gonna like fall apart or that the cat is gonna get out. Thank you very much. You're going to save me a lot of stress when it comes to taking the cats in for their vaccinations or anything else. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm not gonna put the cats in here because they get very, very stressed out by the thought of going to the vet. Probably just the sound of the zippers and stuff is like they know. And thank you for thinking of my kitties and their well being. I have 37 minutes to go, and I'm fingers crossed that Stollen is getting puffy. So, uh, I'll see you in a moment. Well, it's been like an hour. I don't think it's gonna get any puffier than this. So there's only, well, there's more than one thing left to do. But the next step is to put it in the oven. Bake, little guy, bake! to 40 minutes until it gets golden brown and we're just crossing our fingers and hoping that it doesn't turn into a rock. I don't really know what to say every time I update you on the progress of the Sholen. <laughs> so uh, I'll, 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 I'll see you again. Uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, let's not kid ourselves. This is the flattest Stollen I have ever seen. Mistakes were made. But this is the first time that I that I really, you know, make Stollen. And this is the first time that I film uh, from this, any of it. This is, this, all of this is the first time I've ever done any of this. I've let it sit out for five minutes. And now it's time to poke holes all over it, cover it in butter, and then powdered sugar. And while it's cooling, I'm gonna have a little look back at all the adventures from this month and all the pastries I've eaten with a little help from my friend Mario.
and now I'm going to cover it and put it outside so that it could cool faster because I'm running out of I'm running out of time here. We, we no longer have daylight at this point. <laughs> this has been an all day affair, which is usually how I spend the 25th of December. So this is making me pretty happy. <laughs> While this is cooling outside, I'm gonna go get my computer and we're gonna take a look at a very special presentation. very hard at work, eating pastries and sharing my delights with you, someone else was very busy keeping notes, keeping an Excel sheet and putting together a beautiful presentation of Vlogmas with Heavens to Betsy 2021. And that's Mario. And I want to thank Mario so much. I woke up this morning and he shared this presentation with me. I've only gotten two slides in and I thought to myself, oh, okay, okay. I have to present this on the last day of vlog, like I have to present this today because this is worth seeing. He's done such a wonderful job with this. I'm so impressed and I'm also just so amazed that anyone would follow along with my vlog so closely. And I, I'm very, very excited to see this and I'm very excited to revisit my experiences because it's been a whirlwind of a month. Okay, so <laughs> this is day one, obviously. I'm explaining the premise. So he's created a chart. This looks much better than my sticky notes chart, which I'm sorry, we haven't, re we haven't visited the sticky note chart in a while, but that's because setting everything up in my kitchen and then dragging it out to the living room and setting it up all over again and then having to drag it back into my kitchen, it's, it was just becoming too much. December 1st, oh yeah, I had the Mielt vanilla tart. Man, that was so good. What a nice present, oh my God, with the screenshots? My gosh! December 2nd, yes, I went to Au Merveille de Fred. Did I say that tart was super yummy? Did I say that tart was super yummy? I don't remember. Let me go check my chart. I need to check my chart. It was yummy! <laughs> I do not like top top top. <laughs> December 4th, oh, I had the donuts, but that was the day that everything, I lost my footage because the files were corrupted. Those were good donuts, I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. December 5th, yeah, I went to Monsieur M. That was not, not a very impressive, not a very impressive experience. I remember I was really tired that day too. I was so sleepy. Oh, I gave the cats treats. Yes, yeah, oh yeah. I, was ha I had a meltdown and I was eating. I ate those chocolates, like just, like I thought it would be funny to pound those chocolates. But those were massive chocolates and I felt sick for <laughs> the rest of the day. <laughs> that was a nice day because I, I got to spend more time with more me and the, it was a nice... I liked making that video. It was almost like she knew, like she was aware that we were on camera and it was time to perform. And it was, these screenshots, these screenshots are fabulous. I'm like, I can't believe that you made this. This is incredible. Oh man. That chocolate eclair from Hill Bar. I want another. <laughs> I am definitely going back to Hill Bar, without a doubt. Yeah, that was super yummy. It's all across the board. It was so fantastic. December 10th, the chocolates. Those chocolates from Canton Bani were, were very good. Oh, oh my gosh. The shortbread from Nantaltinot. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I completely lost track of anything that was happening from this point. Like I've just blacked out. Like I don't remember filming anything after this point. I don't remember filming any of that. It's <laughs> just, I don't remember anything. Whoa, what was that thing called? The Mugev Blanc. Oh, that was really good. The Roomba, oh, that was such a, that just, I, I'm still blown away. That was just such an unexpected surprise. <laughs> Oh, that was such a beautiful pastry, but so not yummy. So, so gross. <laughs> and I received the second half of that gift, those headphones, which, I mean, I'm living with these headphones in my ears. Every time I'm not on camera, I have those headphones in my ears. The cheesecake, oh, Fleur de Chef. 
Oh my gosh. And the arrow press from Christina. Every day, I'm telling you. Every day, multiple times a day. I'm surviving off that arrow press right now. <laughs> oh yeah, those chocolates that were not good. And then I received more gifts from you. The pot from Mario. The humidifier from a fellow plant lover who loves me but not in a creepy way. <laughs> and the kettle from Tracy. Oh gosh, you guys. Oh yeah, and I made I made a montage with their Roomba. And I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember it. Oh, Vlogmas has destroyed my brain. <laughs> I could have done without those cookies. <laughs> they were chunky. Which I'm gonna be. <laughs> I went to Georges Juanico. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Georges Juanico. I mean, all that butter, all that sugar, and those caramels. Oh, they're just, they're just to die for. And then I received the Brita from Mike, which I am also using every day. Any liquid that I ingest goes through the Brita first. <laughs> I can't believe that was not that many days ago. It feels like weeks ago. That feels like weeks ago. These screenshots, Mari, you like. Mario, you did such a good job. A lot of people thought I was sad that day. I wasn't sad. I was very like, I was really exhausted because it was like all day long, things just kept going wrong and going wrong. Um, I didn't talk about it during Vlogmas because I was like, I don't, you know, I don't want to complain. But it was a really, really exhausting and stressful day and I had to do a lot of running around. So that's why I did the montage. I wanted some alone time. I was just tired and I didn't feel like talking a lot. And so I was just looking for some music that kind of spoke to me like as an introvert, but instead people kind of interpreted that as like sad music and I wasn't sad that day. That was such a nice surprise. I didn't know about it and I decided to go there on a whim and then I received the Key Light Air. By the way, I still don't know who sent me the Key Light Air, so shoot me an email or um, message me on Instagram or something. I would love to thank you for that. I'm, I'm very appreciative for that. I don't know where Kelly's note is. I know that it was from Kelly. Where's the purple bag? Oh, I'm so glad I found this. I have all of the notes from everyone. I would like to save all of the notes um, from all of the gifts that you sent me and I couldn't find Kelly's note for the scarf. I knew Kelly gave me the scarf. I finally found it. It's attached to the bag, so I'll have to detach it later. Thank you, Kelly, for that wonderful scarf. I have been wearing it every time I leave. Christina sent me the neck massager. I can't, I can't even tell you how amazing it is. It's just absolutely wonderful. It's just, it's a little piece of heaven. I got the spice rack from Lindsay, which by the way, I'm contacting Amazon so that I can get the perfect spice rack without a broken bottle but I'm going to fill every single one of those with every, every single spice I can find. And I got the pot set from Jamie, which you have probably seen featured in a couple of videos by this point. These gifts you sent me, and this presentation is such a gift. Oh no, it is summer 27. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day. Those poor pastries. December 23rd, oh, the mousse. Oh, the mousse was so good, okay. My memory is starting to come back now. And I got the cat treat puzzle from Lisa. Thank you, um, the cats are loving it. I, I'm gonna show some, I probably did, I, you probably, I probably already put, you, the cats love it. They absolutely love it. It's getting really late and I'm losing my mind at this point. <laughs> that was fun, that was really interesting because I got to design something. That was a, it was a, it was a really fun challenge in improvisation. A lot of this has been a really fun challenge and improvisation. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mario. I can't believe the time you must have put into this, and what a wonderful gift. I, like, <laughs> I'm gonna revisit this just to remember the, my first Vlogmas, and I don't like to watch my own videos, so <laughs> this is a really nice way <laughs> to remember Vlogmas instead of watching my own videos. <laughs> Look at all these notes that I have from people. All the gifts. You guys have spoiled me. You've absolutely spoiled me. Okay, I, I think that the Stollen is probably cool enough that I can I can go fetch it and bring it in and cut off a slice. This is it. 
This is it. I, I am so excited right now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I need milk. We need, we need to make sure that we are absolutely 100% prepared to enjoy this homemade Stollen. The first, technically my first Stollen, because the last one, I don't think we could ever, I don't think you could even define that as Stollen. And I probably won't need it because this is already sweet, but I got myself some bitter orange jam because this is one of my favorite jams to have with Stollen. Okay, I've waited all month to make this. <laughs> that was mostly just powdered sugar. <laughs> you can see the crust is just a beautiful golden brown on the bottom all the way around. And the inside is cooked thoroughly, but it's so light and fluffy and tender. You can see the raisins and the little citrus peel bits, candied citrus, the beautiful snowy white powdered sugar on top and the marzipan center. It may be short, but it is a beautiful stollen to me. <laughs> the orange zest is really giving it that extra something special. I know that the recipe only called for lemon zest, but adding orange zest just makes it better. It just makes it better. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one more bite with the bitter orange jam. <laughs> that is a nice way to end vlogmas. That's it. <laughs> I want to thank you, everyone, for watching and for following along with me during this whole month. I want to thank you for all the comments you've left. You've brought me so much joy. You've made me laugh. You've made me smile before I go to sleep at night. And you've brought me joy in knowing that I've brought you joy. I think that that's one of the greatest gifts of all, to give other people a smile, to give other people just a little bit of happiness is something that means a lot to me and it's why I started making videos on YouTube in the first place. And thank you everyone who, much to my surprise, sent me gifts upon gifts. They've changed my day in every way imaginable. I use all of them. I use everything that you've sent me every day and I'm so grateful. You've truly made this month the absolute best month <laughs> that I've had in as long as I can remember and um, I'm just so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of the year and I'll see you in 2022. All right, we have quite a little smorgasbord here for the kitty cats. We've got some bits of fish, some catisfactions, one of their very favorites. I got some new ones called Cat Yums and Crispy Crunch. Wormy really likes these. And then cat sticks, Phytocraft. Making cats happy since I don't know when because I'm unsure when that company was established. Okay, well, we've got the puzzle board here, which the cats have really been enjoying, but I thought I would show you just how much they love their puzzle board. Ready, Teddy? Is everybody ready? Ready? <laughs>